Okay, this is where we ended up uh, at the end of the problem. We are trying to do something algebraically and I just kind of want to work this out and see what happens. Remember what we're doing, we have y equals x squared, which is our, supposed to be our distance traveled at any time t. We're at the point t, 2, 4, and we also have a point that's close by, 2 plus h, so that's 2 plus a small number. We take the 2 plus h, we plug it in x squared, we get 2 plus a squared. What we're supposed to do is find the slope of these of the line between these two points. Um, I'm going to leave a little space here for a limit. So I'm going to write delta y over delta x. I'm going to leave a little space for a limit. So I'm going to write the change in the y's. That's going to be 2 plus h squared minus 4 all over the change in the x's. Well, that's 2 plus h minus 2. So that's just h. Now I want to take the limit. Now why? Because each of these is an estimate and what we want is the exact value. But we know that when we take the limit of the estimates, we get the exact value. So I'm going to take the limit here. Um, we're going to remember that delta x and h actually mean the same thing. We like the notation uh, for different purposes, so we're going to use them both at the moment. So I'm just going to write L, I, M, and then h goes to zero. And now we can see this is a limit like the kind we've been doing all the whole time. Let's plug in. If I plug in on the bottom, I get zero. We, we knew this from the context. If I plug in the top, I get zero. That's not good. Um, so what we can do is try to do this uh, algebraically. I haven't taken the limit yet, so I have to write down limit. Limit. H goes to zero. Yay. Um, what I'm going to do is just multiply the top out. I have to FOIL that. So that's going to be 4 plus 4H uh, plus H squared like that. I get minus 4 like that. Yay. All over H. Um, H's don't cancel yet. However, a couple good things happen. Uh, I can see that this 4 and this 4 kill each other. So die, die, ah! Um, but I still have an H left on top. I still have an H left on bottom. I usually like people just to start canceling H's, but let's do it with all the work at least once. So I'm going to write down equals, haven't taken the limit yet, so I have to write down limit. H goes to zero. Yay. I'm going to pull an H out on top like that and I'm left with four plus H. Uh, I have an H just still on bottom and now the H on top kills the H on bottom. So die, die, ah! <clears throat> And now I get something I can plug into, and we get four, which is the same answer that we got when we zoomed in, when we used the tangent line, when we used the numbers, yay.